Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in the west of Andalusia in Huelva and things are changing. Nature follows patterns but we never know the exact way that it will unfold. Less than a month ago, everything was green, green, green. Now, it's already dry, brown, white, amazing. We ask ourselves, what is our role on this farm? And uh, the latest question is, how can we extend this growth period, the season of growth? Um, usually growth starts to pause at the end of spring because this is Mediterranean climate. This is how it works. So we would like to extend that grow season. How do we do that? The first thing is with irrigation. We have drip irrigation. We have some extension tubes because we mulch heavily. We want to uh, emitters, the drippers, to be free from all this dust and uh, animal life. And also it's easy for us to observe what is really happening with this water supply. The irrigation that we do, the aim is to get water at least to a depth of 50 60 centimeters and uh, so we irrigate towards the evening and uh, we have a slow drip it is about a liter per hour on the higher areas and about three times that on the lower areas. So we take our time and we make sure that each tree gets at least its two liters of water three times a week. And this is how we do it right now to extend the growth in these plants. The second thing we do to extend the life, the growth in these trees is heavy mulching, especially where the drip irrigation takes place. This is the second year we have between 10 and 15 centimeters of mulch and uh, this is a strawberry we also have some ground covers this is corn mice we got it cheaply and uh, it's easy to move so we are very happy with that. We would like to obviously have the mulch everywhere, but uh, first we want to cover all the parts where the irrigation takes place. The third thing we do is to provide shade. These Paulovnias, they are two, this is their second growth season. 
and uh, more than two meters tall some of them three meters already and their job is to supply some shade here we have between them some almeth an indigenous tree we are quite happy to get rid of the paulovnia in five years when the other trees are growing well these trees they provide shade but also a windbreak to this hot and dry wind one of the most important aspects to prolonging life plant life on the farm is to have the right crop selection here we have olive and then we have asparagus and we have a lot of pumpkins another almeth then we have carob and jojube we also have almonds and between them asparagus coming into seed now some peach and mulberry white mulberry peach mulberry peach mulberry some pear mulberry apricot mulberry apple pomegranate strawberry these are onions apple pomegranate we also have some um, nitrogen fixers amongst them the next aspect number five is soil management this area this farm was exploited with cattle and sheep and goats for many many years so there this is now the third year where there's no single animal on the farm to graze and we are now cutting this down all the local flora to make sure that uh, the carbon stays it also covers the soil then we have lots of swales and berms we try to keep the moisture in the soil we plant these berms as soon as possible the biological life in these soils is very important to us some sweet potato we also planted a lot of cactus to supply water to other plants other organisms we are planting more trees we want some shade 
on the soil to protect it. The sixth aspect of prolonging plant life into summer in the Mediterranean climate on the farm we have is to have an integrated pest management system. Here we have Queen's, Queen Anne's lace and it's actually a hotel for the ladybugs that uh, feed on many of the other pests so-called we have on the plants so we are happy to look after our Queen Anne's lace many of our very old trees like this cork this one is in a good condition. Many of our home oaks, the anthena, are not in a good condition. So, uh, lots of diseases. And we will have to decide if we, in which way we take care of them. Sometimes it's the best to just let them be but they host a lot of the gypsy moths that actually destroy the others so we will have to learn to deal with it the next aspect number seven is to observe to monitor to adapt this canal, we also planted some uh, sweet potato and some cactus and lots of other seeds. Here we also have some seeds in the canal. We will monitor what's happening with them. We will not irrigate them. We are doing some experiments with lots of plants to see how they can survive dry land conditions. None of these plants here have received any irrigation. They are now in bloom, so uh, hopefully they will complete their cycle on their own with our, without our intervention. The last of the oats spreading their seeds. This is the very dry poor soil part of the land so these polovnias and also vetiver and some other grasses are under irrigation but uh, we also had more of these polovnias in this area Today I remove them, plant them somewhere else. It's too difficult to irrigate it here. There were a few more over there. So we learn, we take the opportunity to change things, to suit us better, to suit the land better. It's also a time to observe where we walk. I'm opening up some walkways. A 
amongst this cystus brush hara we observe there are no thistles and nettles here where a tree fell over a lot of thistles and nettles grew so this hara is doing a good job we have identified five spots with a tree and some rocks and we will build some small benches wooden benches so that one can walk from one to the other sit down enjoy the view observe think plan and let things just unfold and just to be clear how we want to be part of it I hope we can extend the growth of especially the food giving plants a little bit further into the summer that will be great till next time goodbye